Hi, thank you for watching this Doll Artisan Guild School of Doll Making training tidbit on China painting. Let's begin. First, you have a choice as to the media type that you will use. Our focus is on the method known as the water-based technique, which was developed in 1991. As the name indicates, the medium used to mix with the dry china paint is based on water rather than oil. Both types of media are available today. The medium is simply a way to mix and apply the china paint to the porcelain. It fires off in the kiln. Water-based medium is a thick, odorless liquid. It's harmless to your skin and easily clean off of hands, tile, and brushes with water. Water-based medium is cleaner to fire in your kiln also. There's no harmful fumes. Furthermore, water is used to dilute the paint and clean your brushes rather than mineral spirits, which is used with the oil-based medium. Please note that the medium you use is a personal preference. However, Doll Artisan Guild instructors use the water-based technique when teaching seminars for the health of our doll making students and studio owners. There are three main types of water-based media to choose from. Your choice will depend on what you are painting as well as the climate where you live. If you live in a dry climate as opposed to a humid one, this will affect the medium that you use. Once you experiment a bit, you will find the ones that work best for you. However, here are some guidelines. Line medium is slow drying and is used for eyebrows, eyelashes, lips, lip accent lines, and painted eyes. Area medium dries more quickly, but spreads well. It generally is good for an overall wash for cheeks or for painted hair. Ultra-fine line medium is very slow drying, silky to the touch, and is perfect for tiny, delicate lines such as eyelashes and feather brows. The china paint we recommend comes in a vial in dry, granular form. In the ceramic world, china paint is an overglaze. They will show their true color after being fired in a kiln. You may mix the dry colors to create your own variations. China paint must be fired in a kiln to make it stick. This is one of the great things about painting with china paint. If you make a mistake or do not like what you just did, simply wipe it off. Once you have the desired result, go ahead and fire it. Once fired, you can come back and add another layer. It's amazing how the different layers add dimension to your project. Much like the paint for your house, china paint colors may be gloss, which is shiny, satin, or matte. China paints are also made with lead, and some are lead free. Check your label. Some paint colors really need the lead to obtain the final desired color, like some reds, but you'll want to be careful in handling these. Over the years, and working with the actual antique dolls, the Doll Artisan Guild has developed china paint kits that are color matched to certain dolls. You can be sure that countless hours and testing have resulted in these fabulous kits for doll makers. So how do I prepare to mix? Well, first you want to find a place with a sturdy table and good light. Be sure there are no nearby air conditioning units or fans blowing near your workspace. You would be amazed what an awful mess is caused by tiny particles getting into your china paint. So next you'll gather your media, the china paints, your brushes, and a container of water. You'll want to use a smooth glazed tile to mix your china paints on. You'll need a lint-free cloth or paper towel and you'll use this to wipe your brush dry while painting. You'll also need a palette knife for mixing the china paint. So now let's mix some china paint. So you put some granules on your glaze tile and then you choose your medium and put your medium over to the side until you get started and uh, feel more comfortable 
with how your paint mixes up, it's better to keep it separate. And then as you feel that you need more, you can go over and grab it. Make sure that you use a circular motion and make sure you get all those tiny little granules ground up. that your paint will be more consistent. You want to mix it until it is the consistency of like hand lotion, depending on what you're doing. If you're painting eyelashes, then your consistency may be a little thinner. If you're painting um, cheeks or an overall wash, then it may be a little bit thicker, depending on uh, how you put on your application. You can run your brush through it, see if it feels right for whatever the application is. And you're ready to paint. For more information about porcelain doll making, contact the Doll Artisan Guild at our website, dollartisanguild.org. Thank you for watching this training tidbit on China painting for porcelain doll making. See you next time.